Hello YouTubers, this is Matthew from linktoprosperity.com here with another training video. And um, in this video we're going to talk over a couple specific things in relation to how to separate your traffic coming from different countries. Now there's a number of reasons why you would want to do this. Uh, one reason that comes to mind is if you're promoting an offer that's only good for people from the US, anybody else that comes to your site uh, from other countries is going to land on your page and realize they can't participate in whatever you're selling and leave your page. Using this technique you're going to be able to separate that traffic, stop that traffic from even coming to your site in the first place, and you can redirect them to an offer um, that they can actually take part in. And, uh, and if you're doing any kind of paid advertisement, you definitely this is going to come in handy. It's going to allow you to get the most money per every single click that you get to your website, okay? Another reason why you might want to separate your traffic is if you're building list and you want to have country specific list. So you want to have all the people that opt into your landing page, you want to have them come from the US. And then you have another list for the UK, you have another list for Canada. And then you have another like main list for every other country. And the reason you might want to do this is if you're going to get into selling advertisement and solo ads in the future, you're going to be able to get more money per each list. And when you have um, some people might want to be able to just market to the people from the United Kingdom. And uh, you're going to be able to charge more just because you have a list tailored to uh, that country. To make all this possible, and I believe is the easiest fashion, we're going to use a service called Cloudflare. Okay. Now, Cloudflare, they have a feature called geolocation. Okay. What this is going to allow you to do is it's going to, every visitor that comes to your site is going to get assigned a country code. Okay. And now, using PHP, you can redirect that traffic based on the country that they came from. And it's not too hard to set up. For those of you who have no knowledge of um, PHP and HTML, the simply best thing you can do is just follow my instructions, okay? It's not too complicated to get set up. If you guys follow this video, you can set it up on yourself without knowing any kind of PHP or HTML or anything like that, okay? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to um, sign up, and we're going to sign up a new account. All right, I got all my information in there, and it's going to agree to the terms, and hit continue. All right, the process of the process of setting up a website is rather easy, okay? And you're probably going to want to use a website where um, you might just want to have a dedicated domain name just doing redirects. For this example, I'm going to use a domain name I'm not currently using just to set this up. <laughs> Don't think now, guys. All right, once you got that set up, you just simply add the website, and it's going to scan your website DNS. takes a few seconds for it to scan your website and get all the information it needs to set this up. Basically what happens is is uh, you're going to use their DNS instead of your own DNS and it's going to forward over to the DNS for your web host. Okay. Simply hit continue when it's done scanning your site. Okay. Looks like everything's there. This bottom one is if you wanted to add information but you, don't, you usually don't have to. When you get to this page guys make sure it's on the free version standard settings and just hit continue. Okay, now that I'm on this site, it's all done. All I gotta do now is just update my name servers with GoDaddy, my domain register. And what's gonna basically happen is it's gonna use their name servers and it's gonna forward over to the name servers for my hosting provider. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into GoDaddy right now and change this. Let's click on manage name servers. Now if you guys got different registers, there's gonna be different processes to get here, but basically what you wanna do is you wanna get to the name server part where you can add different name servers, okay? We're going to click on Add Name Server. Add in the name server. Let me go get the other one. Okay. Click okay. Now you want to delete out your old previous name server by simply just Xing it out. Depending on what register you guys are in, it's a different process. This is just for GoDaddy. And hit save. Okay. Alright, my name servers are updated and it normally takes GoDaddy up to 24 hours for it to uh, change your name servers, but I noticed it only takes a couple hours. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to click here that I updated it. All right, guys, I'm all done now. Basically, what I can do now is I can, there's more options here. You can whitelist your IPs with your hosting provider. I'm not doing all that right now because uh, I haven't had to. And all I'm going to do is just wait and come back into Cloudflare until this uh, icon turns green. And then I'm good to go. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to set up a basic PHP redirect now using the service. 
Uh, probably an hour I'll come back and finish this and show you guys exactly what to do next. All right, guys, I'm back. That took about probably about, I don't know, 30 minutes. And I'm going to show you guys the code to use to, to redirect your traffic, okay? This is the basic code. It's not too complicated. And what this basically means is that anyone from the U.S. is going to go to this link. Anyone from the U.K. is going to go to uh, this link here. Um, anyone from CA is going to go to this link here. And actually, I changed these company or these country codes just for this tutorial. And this here, I'm going to leave blank. This is going to send all the other traffic to another page. Since I don't have any pages set up on this web hosting account for uh, my domain name, I'm just going to put in... I don't know, maybe ClickBank. Do that for France or uh, UK. And I'll do it for Germany or Canada. Now, if you're going to do this yourself, you're probably going to have two different landing pages. So what I basically want to do with this is I want to send all the traffic from the U.S. and the United Kingdom and um, Canada to ClickBank. And actually, I have to put one more of these in there because sometimes the U.K. traffic is the country code is GB also. So I'm just going to put in there GB. Okay, now I'm going to send all the other traffic to... Here. I'm just going to put Google in there for now. You guys can change these whatever you want. Okay, so this script set up now. You have to save it as a PHP file. All the U.S. traffic, all the United Kingdom traffic, and all the Canada traffic is going to go to ClickBank. And if you come from any other country or origin, it's going to go to Google. Okay, of course, guys, if you're doing this yourself, you're going to want to have maybe a landing page for um, the U.S., maybe a landing page for the U.K. Uh, but you guys get the general idea of how the script works. So first off, we're just going to save the script. Now we're just going to call it test, test.php. And it's important, guys, we're going to use a text document here. you got to save this as all. Okay. Save. Now we're going to open up our FTP client. All right. Just type in FTP.yourdomainname.com. We're going to log in here. Scroll down. Public HTML. Okay. Now I'm simply going to just drag this over into my web host. Okay. All right. Everything's set. So let's just test it out right now. <clears throat> right now I'm going to connect it on the US uh, server. Don't think now. <laughs> Dot com forward slash test.php. Okay. Let me just copy that real quick. Now this should direct me to ClickBank. And I've landed on ClickBank. Okay, now we want to make sure the code's working, so we're going to test it by connecting on a proxy, um, a proxy IP with um, a different browser and see if it directs to Google. Find a proxy, I'm going to go to hidemyass.com. Click on IP proxies. All right, finding a proxy can be a pain in the ass just to test this out. Um, especially if you're in the United States and you're trying to find a front proxy. A lot of them just, they, just, they don't work well. Uh, let's try this uh, Russian proxy here. Copy that. Then you're going to go to Tools, go to Options. <clears throat> go to Advanced, click on um, Network. Click on Settings. I actually cheated, guys. <laughs> All the information is in there already, but um, I'm just going to hit OK. All right, we're going to make sure we're connected to the proxy and it's working, so we're just going to go to Google.com. Great, so it loaded. It loaded up for um, the Google for uh, Russia. Okay. So now we're going to just go to our redirect file and our domain name. Now we should be redirected to Google, of course, and it's going to redirect back to Google because that's the the site that we picked as to redirect all the non-US, UK, and Canada traffic to.
this proxy is kind of slow so just wait a second guys and as you can see it redirected back to Google Russia okay and that's how it's done guys it's basically that easy and um, if you guys want a list of country codes and you want to get a copy of that PHP script this comment in the video and um, subscribe and like it too while you're at it and uh, I will actually send you guys those, those stuff over I also want to mention if for some reason you cannot figure this out for yourself and you want someone to do it for you, I will gladly do it for you, but I will have to charge you $25. This does take away from my time. The video, however, is self-explanatory, but if for some reason you can't figure it out, just send me a message on YouTube or if this is on a forum. Just send me a message and we can arrange something. But before I close this video out, I also want to mention there's a couple more things you can do with Cloudflare to enhance your site. So log into Cloudflare and click on the Applications button, our link. All right, now with these applications, you can enhance your website without having to do any kind of coding whatsoever in any page that's on your domain name, as long as your domain name is going through Cloudflare. And for instance, um, if you guys wanted to add stats, real-time stats to your site, you can sign up with Clicky Links here. And all you have to do is sign up for Clicky Links and set it up through the back office of Cloudflare and you will not have to do any kind of adding code to your website whatsoever. Normally when you do analytics, you have to put a little code on each page in your site, but since your domain name is going to Cloudflare, you won't have to do any kind of any kind of uh, updating any codes on any page on your on your server. You can also integrate your account with uh, Google Analytics. And if you guys do this, you're going to get the best stats possible cuz it's going through your DNS. And I'm guys going to show you a couple more there's some uh, info links as a way to monetize your site to make extra money. You guys can sign up through that right through here. But once again, you won't have to do any kind of coding on your site whatsoever to have this working. Okay. Um, let me show you another one here. Oh, Scrape Shield is a free one if you want to block people from stealing your content or hot linking any of your images. All you got to do is go back and uh, click on these buttons and set this up. Um. If you wanted to add live chat to your site, this one does cost money. It's about $40 a month. But once again, all you got to do is sign up for it, put in your information, and then at every, every site on your page is going to have a little option to uh, contact you. It's a pretty cool feature. Um, Trump is a pretty cool one. Actually, I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. I already got it on. I have to test it out this minute ago. So we're just going to set it up. And what you're going to want to do is just put a little message in here. And what's going to happen is anybody that comes to your website is going to see a little flash message. So say, for instance, you have some kind of new guide or maybe a new mailing list or you wanted to get attached to a new product. You just put in a little message right here and it's going to show up on everybody's screen that lands on your site. Okay, I turned it on. Actually, I'll show you guys right now. As you can see at the top of the screen there is a little button there or a little banner there that says don't forget to get your free guide. Now this could say whatever I wanted it to say. There's a couple cool ways you guys can enhance your site. Well that about sums it up. Eventually in the future I'll probably do a couple more videos on how to use some of these applications with Cloudflare. If you guys got anything from this video of value, please hit the like button. I would appreciate that. And thank you guys for uh, taking the time to go through this video. And I hope it helps you out. Take care.